Can a Border Collie Live Outside? The Collie is undoubtedly a loyal and obedient dog, first bred to work with farmers and shepherds, rounding up sheep all day long helping the farmer out. But can a Border Collie live outside, or are they too hyper and boisterous? This is what we're going to take a look at in this video. What kind of coat does a Collie have? Did you know that they have a double coat? The Border Collie's top coat is coarse and can be either smooth or rough, while the breed's undercoat is softer. If a Border Collie has a rough coat, the dog will show medium length hair, with belly, chest, and leg feathering. But if a Collie has a smooth coat, their fur is coarser, despite the coat type's name. Dash and you won't see as much of this feathering on their body. They are almost invariably black and white, and with only one or two white patches around their face and neck or their feet and legs, and sometimes the tip of the dog's tail. However, some have some splashes of tan or other colors. The Border Collie can be merle, bicolor, or even tricolor, too. But however your Border Collie's coat looks, you can be sure that it will keep them warm and comfortable when they spend the day outside. Is a Border Collie loyal? Being originally bred to relax with and protect their farming family after herding up all the sheep, today's Border Collie still has a tendency to bond closely with their main handlers. They are great for first-time owners. This means that your dog may quickly become stressed when they are separated from their family. If your Border Collie is especially loyal, they may find living outside and being alone difficult. Does a Border Collie enjoy being indoors? The Border Collie is a very sensitive breed of dog that pays close attention to everything that's going on around them. This is part of the reason why the Collie is so good at herding up sheep, if they notice even a slight movement from a single sheep, the dog immediately heads towards that particular sheep so that they don't leave the flock. But, this sensitivity can make it difficult for some to live inside. They are also prone to contact allergies towards several things that are commonly found indoors, like mildew, dust, pollen, and some dog shampoos. If your Collie has an allergy such as this, it's unlikely that they would like to spend much time indoors. But, the strong-willed, independent dog will soon let you know where they prefer to spend their time. The sounds and sights of your ordinary household appliances, like the extreme vibration of a washing machine or the sound of a toaster popping up, can easily startle your Border Collie, sending them running under the table or behind the couch. What's more is, if these sensitivities bother your Border Collie, it's unlikely that they will get used to them or to living indoors. But, the strong-willed, independent Border Collie will soon let you know where they prefer to spend their time. Is it a good idea for a Border Collie to sleep outside? With the highly insulating double coat that a Collie has, many Border Collies do prefer to spend most of their time outside, keeping cool and relaxing. But if it spends most of their time outside, they are probably going to get less attention than if they were kept indoors. This can mean fewer opportunities for socialization, obedience training, and even just play. Keeping your dog outside also means that they are more vulnerable to attacks from pests like fleas and ticks, and even other dogs or foxes. And of course, being such a loyal and watchful breed of dog, they are also quite likely to become lonely or neurotic if they are not with their family. Plus, just like with sleeping indoors, a Collie may also not get a restful sleep outside what with all the sounds and smells that they are sensitive to. But if your dog spends most of their time outside, they may also get more physical activity during the day, meaning that your pooch then sleeps more soundly at night. So, making your Border Collie live outside has its own unique set of advantages and disadvantages. The best option may be to install a dog flap, so that the loyal, obedient, double-coated dog can come and go as they please, getting the best of both worlds. If you are concerned about unwanted guests there are one-way, two-way, and electronic versions available to suit your convenience. What care does a Border Collie need? Whether they live inside or outside, your dog needs to be brushed at least once a week. This helps to distribute the oils in your Collie's coat more evenly, preventing matting and tangling. Brushing your dog's coat also helps to remove any debris or dirt they may have picked up. At the start of the warmer season, you may discover that they sheds fur everywhere. This is a natural process referred to as blowing out. You can help your dog during this time by brushing their fur out, but you may find that they shed so much, they have to stay outside. If your dog spends a lot of time outside, you may also find that you need to brush their coat more frequently because it often ends up full of twigs and mud. You also need to trim your dog's nails at least once a month under normal circumstances, regardless of whether your Border Collie spends most of their time indoors or outdoors. However, if they live outside, you probably won't need to trim their nails so often, since all the walking and running on hard surfaces will wear them down naturally. So, living outside has both its advantages and disadvantages for a Border Collie. Where should a Border Collie sleep? 
Whether they live outside or inside, a collie always needs access to a clean, dry, warm, and sheltered place to sleep, with access to clean water. If your dog is sleeping in a kennel, this means lots of warm, fluffy blankets, with a thick mat that's large enough for your pooch to stretch out on. If your collie is sleeping outside, you may like to situate their bed area on a porch, or another sheltered area, both to keep them warm and to prevent them from being awoken by wind, possums, and other things that could distract them. Please comment below to add your thoughts and tips to help other people watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you found this video to be helpful.